Good morning everybody. This video is about welcome at first given by Principal Teen Government Medical College Srinagar to the students of his first of batch 2022 followed by introduction to the Department of Anatomy by Dr. Muhammad Salim Ito. On 7th of March 2022, Dr. Samia Rashid, Principal Dean Government Medical College, Srinagar, gave welcome address to his first MBBS students of 2022 batch. This meeting was attended by heads of various departments, faculty of Government Medical College, Srinagar, officials from administrative department and also by students of phase first. In her welcome address, she urged students to take advantage of excellent teaching material, infrastructure and faculty available at Government Medical College, Srinagar. She urged them to be regular and start working hard right from the day one of their admission. This was followed by introduction to the postgraduate department of anatomy Government Medical College Srinagar is the first medical college of Jammu and Kashmir. It was established in 1959 on the banks of River Jhelum in a small dispensary now called Laladad Hospital. Two years later, college was shifted to the present day location at Karanagar, Srinagar. On 25th of August 1961, Government Medical College Srinagar was formally inaugurated by Bakshi Gulam Muhammad. Colonel GBS Murthy took over as the charge of first principal of this medical college. Anatomy and Physiology were the first established departments in this college. Soon after inauguration, a batch of 66 students was admitted. After 63 years of its inception, Government Medical College is recognized across the globe with its pass out heading many leading medical universities of the world in USA, British and Gulf countries. Department of Anatomy is the oldest department in this college. It is also the largest pre-clinical department. NMC has given due respect to the subject of anatomy by allotting 670 teaching hours in CBME to the Department of Anatomy. Undergraduate course in the Department of Anatomy was started in 1961. Post-graduation in anatomy was started in 1963. Dr. M. L. Cole was the first postgraduate from the department. He did MSc in anatomy in 1963. Dr. N. Safaya did MD anatomy in 1964. Dr. Safaya retired as medical superintendent at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. Department of Anatomy is involved in teaching of 180 MBBS students, 65 BDS students, in addition to nursing and paramedical students, which are admitted in Government Medical College, Srinagar, and allied nursing colleges. Post graduation in anatomy is recognized by NMC. Presently, intake capacity is 12 postgraduate seats per year. This is the recent batch of postgraduates who joined in. 2022 in the Department of Anatomy. Dr. K. K. Bhatt was the first head Department of Anatomy. He was from Jamnagar, Gujarat. Dr. A. A. I. followed Dr. Bhatt and established Department of Anatomy at Government Medical College, Srinagar. Presently, our department is having 14 faculty members. There are 11 post MD demonstrators and 26 post graduates. Theory teaching is done in lecture hall with a capacity of 250 students. This hall is well equipped with internet and modern audio visual aids. There are also three demonstration rooms with capacity of 60 students each. All these lecture halls are fitted with audio visual aids. Anatomy is taught by didactic lectures, demonstrations, small group teaching. Even for didactic lectures, students are divided into two batches, 90 of each. So, two senior faculty members are involved in teaching same topic. For teaching theory, classes are divided into principles of anatomy, embryology, histology, osteology, neuroanatomy, regional anatomy, radiographic, surface anatomy, and sonographic anatomy. Postgraduate teaching, there are seven faculty members recognized as PG guides by University of Kashmir. Presently, two research projects are going on in the Department of Anatomy. Department of Anatomy is 
in the process of establishing genetic lab in near future. Establishment of genetic lab is in its final stage. Procurement of virtual dissection table is also in pipeline for the Department of Anatomy. Infrastructure in the Department of Anatomy. There's a lecture hall with capacity of 250 students, three demonstration rooms with capacity of 60 each. All are equipped with modern audiovisual aids. For practical teaching in anatomy, there is a dissection hall, histology lab, postgraduate research lab, ultrasonographic lab, museum, embryology lab, and neuroanatomy lab. Dissection hall has capacity of 480 students. There are adequate numbers of cadavers available for dissection. Histology lab is well equipped with a capacity of 50 students. In this lab, you'll find five and 10 headed microscopes. These microscopes are fitted with cameras and display screens. As shown in this figure, this multi-headed microscope slide is projected on a screen. There's also postgraduate research lab, which is fully equipped as per NMC criteria. There are more than 600 wet specimens in the museum. These specimens belong to regional anatomy, embryology, neuroanatomy, osteology, and comparative anatomy. Department of Anatomy also has a well-equipped embryology lab. Departmental library contains more than 1,000 books on anatomy and allied subjects. There is also a UAG lab in the postgraduate department of anatomy, which was established in 2011. You must know that 75% attendance is compulsory in foundation course. The percentage of attendance is mandatory for appearing in theory and practical university examinations. Pattern of examinations, many internal examinations are conducted throughout the course. You need to secure 50% both in theory and practical to be eligible to appear in the final examination. Theory and practicals are to be passed separately internal and university examination to be passed separately. Final university examination. Eligibility for appearing in final university examination. Attendance must be 75% both in theory and practical. Marcus in internal assessment, 50% in aggregate in theory and practical, but not less than 40% in either makes one to eligible for appearing in final MBBS examination. Distribution of paper first and second in anatomy. Each paper is of 100 marks. Top distribution. Distribution of paper first and second. Paper first includes head, neck, brain, thorax and upper limb. Paper B includes abdomen, pelvis, lower limb with allied histology and embryology. Model paper of 100 marks. Paper is divided into two sections. Section A and section B. Each of 50 marks. Section A includes 12 MCQ type of questions with one mark each, two long answer type of questions with 10 marks each, three short answer type questions with six marks each. So total number of marks in section A is 50. Section B includes two long answer questions of 10 marks each, four short answer type questions of six marks each, and one short answer type of question based on ATICOM module of six marks. So total marks in section A and B are 100. Final practical examination is of 100 marks. It is based on histology, osteology, neuroanatomy, limbs, thoracic abdomen, pelvis, and perineum, radiology, and surface marking. Embryological models are also included in the examination. Papers for MD students. There are four papers in anatomy for M MD students. Paper first consists of comparative anatomy and evolution. Second paper consists of head, neck, neuroanatomy, upper limb, and thorax. Third paper consists of abdomen, pelvis, perineum, and lower limb. Fourth paper consists of recent advances in medicine. Practical examination is for two days. I want to summarize this as anatomy is the oldest department in GMC Srinagar. Infrastructure, faculty, and teaching material are better than any other institute of the country. Teaching and assessment is done as per NMC guidelines. Minimum 75% attendance and 50% marks are required to be eligible for university final examination. First paper includes head, neck, neuroanatomy, thoracus, and upper limb. 
Second paper covers abdominal pelvis perineum and lower limb with allied embryology and histology. Welcome you all in GMC Srinagar. Wish you best of luck. Thank you for watching this video.